Uh, thank you all for, for being here and, and joining me today to talk about AI on one of the most important days, one of the most important years I think we can say we've had in the AI space. I'm Lindsay Silver, the head of data at Fox. I'm really excited to talk to you today about how we're using AI to change the face of media and give superpowers to our broadcasters, advertisers, and products. If you don't know Fox, uh, Fox is one of the US's largest media companies. Uh, we have brands that span entertainment, sports, news, and now a to be an incredible platform for free content on the web. So I invite you to try it out. It's, it's great. We have some new movies on this year that are really cool. We have a huge footprint. We have over 300 million monthly active users. That means 300 million people see one or more pieces of content on Fox every month. We have over 600 or 6 million people who see our NFL broadcasts each game in the fall. And we collect over 50,000 data points per second about our audiences, about our content, about our business and our operations. That's a massive footprint. But we're not here to talk about data as an ingestion point. We're here to talk about how to learn from data and how to use AI to make a business better. At Fox, I like to think about learning as a human process. So I'd like to jump back to the very start of time when humans started documenting crop cycles, documenting tax rolls, in an effort to automate the process of learning in society. We've been doing this as humans forever. In 1923, Nielsen came around, and in the media industry, they started documenting how media was performing in an effort to help advertisers and media companies learn and feedback on, their, on data in real time. This was a human process. Uh, it was slow. It was blocky. It wasn't until the 80s that we started automating these steps. We started getting better at observation with digital products. We started getting better at synthesizing data with forecasting, with meteorology and finance. We started getting better at making automated decisions in advertising. Uh, and then we started acting again. We're turned to, turning a corner in the last couple of years. For the first time ever, Large language models and uh, GANs have allowed us to take data and go straight from observation back to a product that we can act on. It means generating content, generating responses in chat, generating images that we, can, that we can take directly back and act on. At Fox, we view this as a huge boon to our business, but we view it <clears throat> differently than some might think as a way to supercharge how our producers and our editors and our broadcasters and advertisers work with us. In order to do that, we need foundations. We need a platform for driving this change. And that starts with our data sources. Fox takes in hundreds of different data sources across our brands, across our operations, and feeds them into an infrastructure largely built on Amazon. We're extremely proud of the infrastructure we've built, but also proud of the relationship and the technologies that Amazon provides us with from data infrastructure through to our AI and ML tool chain, and then all the way up to our application stacks. These let us do things that otherwise would never be possible at a company like Fox. We use this infrastructure as part of a larger platform that includes a growing AI catalog of proprietary Fox-built models that span sports, content, audience, and now generative AI. We plug those in through predictive APIs to technologies that we've built that span our operation, span our advertising business, and also our consumer products. And then we bring those directly into our consumer interfaces through dynamic recommendations, through sports casting applications, and operational changes. It's a powerful system that then feeds back into our core data sets. And that feedback loop becomes the core of how Fox uses data, powers AI. So let's see what we can do with this platform. The first is Foresight. Foresight has been a product that's been in, in the works at Fox for several years. It's now powering sportscasters across multiple sports that Fox broadcasts. It's a heads-up interface that allows us to use AI to provide deep knowledge and insight to our sportscasters and to create graphics on the fly that overlay the game with important context about the players, about the referees and the matchups. It's a really exciting product. As we get into our, our next generation of Foresight, we're looking toward LLMs and GANs to help us create even more dynamic content with this product. Fox as a media company wouldn't be anything without our advertisers. 
And we try to create experiences that are the best both for our end users and consumers as well as our advertising clients. Fox Atlas allows us to do that. Atlas takes the data that we know about our videos at any given point in time and makes it accessible to advertisers so that they can target very specific points in our video where their content will align well. This could be anything from a moment in the Super Bowl where we have a, uh, where we have a touchdown to a moment in a show or a program that mentions their product. It's an extremely exciting product. Uh, it's in production now and, and continually evolving as we go. Lastly, uh, one of my favorites and one I'm extremely proud of, our Catch Up With Highlights product. This is a direct-to-consumer product that we launched last year at the World Cup, and it's running again at the Women's World Cup now. The challenge with any sort of sport is that people often tune in mid-game. Mid Heretofore, our editors would have to produce summarized versions of that game and catch up moments all throughout the game, and it's an extremely laborious process. Now using AI that spans both sports and computer vision, we're taking and automatically compressing our games at any given moment in time to the most important points allowing our consumers to consume a short summary of the game before they tune in across all of our applications. So next time you watch a game on the Women's World Cup, if you tune in late, this will be the first thing you see, and it's an extremely exciting moment for us on our data teams and our uh, using AI. So what's next? Generative AI has allowed us to start thinking about context more deeply. Fox cares about moments. We care about creating content that really matters to people. And we understand that that content is extremely rich. At the end of the Argentina-France game last year at the World Cup was actually the combination of a huge amount of context. Everyone was asking, what would Messi do next? Everyone was saying, wow, that was one of the greatest shootouts in history. When was the last time that we had a World Cup end that way? Uh, everyone was wondering about the referees, about the stadium. There was a huge amount of context there. That's context that our teams really want to cover. They want to bring that to, to fore, but it's extremely lab laborious to do that. Using generative AI for the first time, we're able to start creating content about those, that context in real time as moments happen so that our editors, our producers, and our production teams can focus on that core moment while having that that superpower of creating additional content. It's extremely cool, and we're rolling this out across our brands, across our sports, and you'll see these percolate in, not, not as a replacement to content. We're really focused on continuing to up the, the quality and the scale of the content we can produce, but as a complement to that content. And you'll see this throughout everything that we do in the future. We're really excited about it. We're really excited about the technologies that Swami and the teams have talked about today. We can't get enough of it, uh, and we look forward to the future. Thank you so much for having me. <clears throat>